Hello, I'm Travis, I'm 17 and in the 10th grade. Today I want to point out some things about the Xbox console. Xbox first came out by Microsoft in 2001. By the time it was out, from 2001 to 2006, it sold 24 million units. The second console named Xbox 360 was a huge improvement on 3D graphics and the way the game plays. This console lasted from 2005 to 2013 and sold 77.2 million consoles. The console in question is Xbox One, which was named backwards from the 360. Xbox One will start up needing an internet connection. With that one, you'll have nothing more than a shiny box, because the Xbox One needs to download software before starting. After you finish installing updates, the Xbox will start asking information like language, date and time, and region, and so on. After this is all set up, the console starts having you make an Xbox account. If you don't currently have one, it will ask information like email, phone number, and age. If your Xbox comes with a Kinect, it'll add facial scanning ID to auto sign in for faster signing in time. Kinect also has voice communication for easily controlling the Xbox One's home screen and throughout any game. By saying Xbox, it will respond and wait for commands such as Xbox Snap Screen. This feature brings up your game screen and an app screen that you can choose from the app menu. The Kinect also plays roles in games. It tracks your voice in game commands. And the Kinect mainly tracks movement, allowing for Kinect Sports to play. This brought reality into games where your movement controlled everything. This also helps you work out while having fun. As well developed and user friendly as the Xbox One can be, it's also difficult to use. Once your games get started, the Xbox One immediately needs to download the game and most likely an update to the game. This means a few hours added before you can play. On top of that, games really take up a good bit of memory. This causes a problem for needing more memory to play more games. Whereas Xbox 360 did not do this, this huge transition caused a major upset among fans. Some are even staying with the 360 due to having limited amount of storage in the Xbox One. Now the storage uproar is not all bad because needing to download the games gives beautiful graphics, animation, and sound. Whereas 360 could only limit its graphics, Xbox One can go beyond what we think reality gameplay looks like. Xbox One is well polished, the console rarely bugs out, and in the event of a crash it can save your files. The games show room to expand and give more realistic playing features, like soft body physics, environmental damage, and seeable damage on player models and computer operated players. Xbox brought about the need for games to be downloaded, giving more room for information to go into the game that 360 couldn't handle. Xbox One gets better graphics by graphic design being downloaded. It really shows in the game with vibrant colors and providing a realistic look. To wrap up the Xbox One, I feel Microsoft wants games to look better, run smoother, and have immersive gameplay. The downloading feature is a setback, although it lets games play a lot better than previous consoles. The Xbox by far operates the best, being both beautiful and plays games smoothly. I highly suggest getting an Xbox One and trying it out for yourself. Here we go!